want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Namaste. My name is Prerna. I have been happy to meet you. Hi, my name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Welcome to HindiPod101.com's Hindi in 3 Minutes. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hindi. In this series, we are going to learn basic Hindi expressions. It's super easy and it only takes 3 minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hindi. There are only two sentences you need to know. Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi. My name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Namaste. Then say Mera naam. Then your name. And then say Hai. Please repeat after me. Namaste. Mera naam. Prerna hai. Finally, say aap se milkar khushi hui. Together we have Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. The first word is Namaste. Namaste in Hindi is equivalent to hello which can be used at any time of the day. Next is Mera. The word Mera means my. This is a way to refer to yourself, which can be used by both men and women. Next, we have Naam. The word Naam means name. Then you say your name. And finally, we have Hai. Hai is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mera plus Naam plus your name plus Hai. The structure of simple Hindi sentences is different from English. In Hindi, the word order is subject, object, verb. The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means nice to meet you. It's used when meeting someone for the first time. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Indian people don't generally shake hands. You're better off using the namaste gesture. However, in a business situation, you might want to use a handshake. Shaking hands is more common in big cities where Western customs are more familiar. Do you know? In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Hindi. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners when we thank people. Kya aap tiyar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So let's begin. There are several ways to thank someone. But let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad means thank you. You can emphasize dhanyavad by adding bohot, which means very much. So it becomes bohot dhanyavad. Bohot dhanyavad. In Hindi, there are other ways to express one's gratitude. Dhanyavad comes from Sanskrit and it sounds quite formal. That's why some people prefer to use Urdu expressions, which are felt to be more colloquial. A more colloquial expression for thank you in Hindi is Shukriya. Shukriya can also be preceded by Bohot, which means very much. Bohot Shukriya. Bohot Shukriya. So, now you have learned how to say thank you in Hindi. But how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you? In Hindi, your welcome is sometimes expressed as swagat hai. The expression swagat hai means welcome. Swagat hai. You can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression. This is koi baat nahi, which literally means it's nothing. Koi baat nahi. So, when someone says dhanyavad to you, you can simply reply with swagat hai or koi baat nahi. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Just as with the expressions for thank you and please, Indians do not always use you welcome in everyday situations. 
It's a concept literally translated from English. Native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying Dhanyavad. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in India. Kya aap tayar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye, shuru kare. So, let's begin. Let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before. Namaste. This is a word that is so closely associated with India and Indian culture that it has become famous all over the world. Namaste. Namaste. The word Namaste is made out of two Sanskrit words, Nama and Te, which have been joined to mean I salute you. We use Namaste as a formal as well as a friendly greeting. It's used when people meet at any time of the day, morning, noon or evening. A slightly more formal variation on Namaste, which you may or may not have heard before, is Namaskar. Namaskar. Use this and you'll surely impress your Indian friends. In Hindi, using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common. When talking with friends, we usually just use the English phrases. But there are equivalent Hindi versions. They are just not used that often. If you meet someone before noon, you can say Suprabhat. Suprabhat. For later in the day, you can say Shubh Sandhya. Shubh Sandhya. But for most of the time, you can just say Namaste and not worry about it. As we learn in this lesson, Namaste can mean both hello and goodbye. However, this is not the only way of saying goodbye in Hindi. A parting expression that we can use for all occasions is Fir Milenge, which means see you. Fir Milenge. Fir Milenge. The first word Fir means again and the second word Milenge means we will meet. Let's look at one more expression. Alvida. Alvida is an Urdu word which means goodbye. Alvida. It is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time. Now, it's time for Prerna's points. The easiest way of saying your goodbyes in Hindi is by using Namaste. Take a slight bow with folded hands and say Namaste. Namaste and Namaskar both come from Sanskrit and mean something like I honor you or I bow to you. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greeting in Hindi. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you are asking it in Hindi, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying even if their answer is no. Let's start with a formal expression. First. Though, we need to make a note that in Hindi, verbs change depending on the number and gender of the noun. So, when asking a man if he speaks English, you would say, Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain? Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain? But to ask a woman if she speaks English, you would say, Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? Let's have a closer look at this sentence by breaking it down. Kya Kya is a question marker which comes at the beginning of the sentence. Next is Aap. Aap means you. This is the respectful word for you and is used in formal situations. You should always use it with people you don't know or with elders. Next we have Angrezi. Angrezi means English. Next is Bolte. Bolte means to speak. It is used when the subject is masculine. We use bolti when the subject is feminine. And finally, he. He is the sentence ending particle used with the formal you. Once more, for man, it's kya aap angrezi bolte hain? Kya aap angrezi bolte hain? And for women, Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? We are now going to make this sentence informal. 
First, we need to use the informal version of you, which is tum. If we change the word for you, we will also change the sentence ending particle to ho. Everything else stays the same. When speaking to younger people, it's acceptable to use the informal form. In which case, you will say, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? To ask a young man or a boy. Or, Kya tum angrezi bolti ho? To ask a young woman or a girl. Again, for a boy, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? And for a girl, Kya tum angrezi bolti ho? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ha, yes, ha, thodi pohot, a little, thodi bohot, nahi, no I don't, nahi. Now let's review one more time. To ask a man in a formal situation if he knows English, we would say, kya aap angrezi bolte hain? To ask a woman in a formal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya aap angrezi bolti hain? To ask a man in an informal situation if he knows English, we would say, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? To ask a woman in an informal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya tum angrezi bolti ho? Now it's time for Prerna's points. India was once for a long time part of the British Empire. And so today, English is one of the national languages of India. When visiting tourist areas, you are sure to meet many people who can communicate with you in English. Still, a large part of the population can't understand English. And you can never go wrong if you learn the local language. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Kya aap angrezi bolte hain? Do you speak English? In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apologize in Hindi. There are a number of ways to apologize, but in a formal situation, you should use maaf kijiye. Maaf kijiye. The first word maaf literally means forgive, and kijiye is a polite form of the verb meaning please do. Thus, this expression actually means something like, forgive me, please. Now let's hear it again. Maaf kijiye. You use maaf kijiye when you might have said or done something offensive, wrong or embarrassing. Sometimes you'll also hear people say, kshama kijiye. Kshama kijiye. This means, please excuse me or I'm sorry. In Hindi, we have many synonyms for a single expression, usually a more colloquial Urdu form and a Sanskrit form, which is used in more formal situations. This is the case with I'm sorry as well. Maaf kijiye is the Urdu form and the corresponding Sanskrit form in Hindi is Shama kijiye. The informal way to say I'm sorry is Maaf karo. Maaf karo. Similarly, we could also say Shama karo. Shama karo. Let's review. Maaf kijiye or shama kijiye is a formal I'm sorry or excuse me. Maaf karo or shama karo is the informal I'm sorry or excuse me. These are all versatile phrases with a few different meanings depending on the situation. Whether you are trying to get someone's attention for a question or making your way through a crowded area or apologizing for stepping on someone's foot, these are all phrases you could use. Now, what if someone says maaf kijiye or shama kijiye to you after having done something wrong? How would you respond? In this case, you could say koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. This means something like it doesn't matter. Koi baat nahi. Now it's time for Prerna's points. If someone bumps into you on the streets in India, don't expect an excuse me, especially in the big cities. Big crowds are very common and so is bumping into each other. Indians are usually very friendly people, but this does not seem like something worthy of an apology. Unless someone pushes you over so hard, you fall on the ground, keep walking.
In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Hindi, including maaf kijiye and shama kijiye. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Hindi. Yes, numbers, sankhyaen, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. Teen minute. Are you ready? Let's start. Ek, ek, do, do, teen, teen. Char, char, panch, panch, che, che, saat, saat, art, art, no, no, das, das. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Ek. Do, teen, char, panch, che, saat, art, no, das. Great job. What is before ek? Do you know? It's of course zero. Which in Hindi is Shunya. Shunya. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Hindi. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase Mera phone number, then your number, and then Hai, which means my number is and your number. Mera phone number Hai. Mera phone number No Shunya Do. Panch, Panch, Saat, Do, Do, Char, Art, Hai. Can you read it by yourself? No, Shunya, Do, Panch, Panch, Saat, Do, Do, Char, Art. Perfect. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Did you know that in Hindi, numbers have their own Devanagari script? Yes, that's right. They don't look like the numbers we're used to seeing in the Western world. But actually, they're quite similar because the Western numeral system is the modified version of the Hindi numeral system. So, with just a little more effort, you can not only say the numbers in Hindi, you'll be able to read them as well. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here I'll tell you again. Ek, do, Teen, Char, Panch, Che, Saat, Art, No, and Das. And now let's continue from 11. Kyara, Kyara, Para, Bara, Tera, Tera, Choda, Choda, Pandra. Pandra, Sola, Sola, Satra, Satra, Athara, Athara, Unnis, Unnis, and finally we have Bees, Bees. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Gyara, Bara, Tera, Chauda, Pandra, Sola, Satra, Athara, Unnis, Bees. Hindi numbers from 1 to 100 are quite irregular with no definite pattern. So the only way to learn them is to memorize them. It might seem daunting at first, but you'll soon recognize a rough pattern. Let's get started with the tens. Tees, tees, chalis, chalis, pachas, pachas, saat, saat, sattar, sattar, asi, asi, nabbe, 
nabe so so while you have to memorize many of the numbers there is a trick that will make memorizing them incredibly easy notice that 30 is tees and 40 is chalis do you remember what 3 and 4 are in hindi well let me remind you 3 is teen and 4 is char as you can see the sound t tee of teen which is 3 is used in tees or 30 teen tees similarly the sound cha in char which is 4 is used in chalis or 40 char chalis 5 in hindi is panch while 50 is pachas the common sound is pa however this does not apply to all numbers 60 in hindi is saath while 6 is che as you can see there is no common sound che saath the last thing to learn in this lesson is how to form compound numbers above 20 You already know that the number patterns in Hindi are quite irregular. So you might be wondering if you have to memorize each and every compound number. The answer is yes, you do. However, we are going to make your life a bit easier with our brilliant tip. For any numbers between 20 and 99, you read a variation of the number in the ones followed by the number in the tens. Let's try it out. How would you say 34 in Hindi? You first say a variation of 4 followed by a variation of 30 so 34 is literally read as 430 which is 34 here chon is a variation of the number 4 or char and tees is 30 34 one is iksat which is literally read as 160 ik is a variation of ek for 1 while sat is a variation of sat for 60 iksat Let's look at one more number, ninety-five. In Hindi, it's panchanave, which is literally read as five ninety. Pancha is a variation of panch for five, and nave is a variation of nabe for ninety. Panchanave. After only two lessons, you are now able to count to one hundred in Hindi. In the next lesson, we are going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in India? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next Hindi in 3 minutes lesson. In the last lesson, we learn how to count in Hindi. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they'll come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in India. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is this? Iska bhav kya hai? Iska bhav kya hai? Are you ready to go shopping in India? Let's go. You see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say to a shopkeeper is maaf kijiye. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Maaf kijiye. Iska bhav kya hai? Maaf kijiye. Iska bhav kya hai? If you want to be more specific when asking how much is this? and refer to a certain type of object we just need to insert the object in between the word is ka between is and ka let's see an example suppose you want to buy a hat in the market hat in hindi is topi so how much is this hat is is topi ka bhav kya hai is topi ka bhav kya hai But what if you want to buy several hats? Then you'd have to use a new word, inka, which means these. Excuse me, how much are these? In Hindi, is maaf kijiye, inka bhav kya hai? Maaf kijiye, inka bhav kya hai? At this point, the shopkeeper can answer by saying iska dam plus the cost plus hai, or ye. Plus the cost plus ka plus hai. For example, iska dam pachas rupee hai. Or ye pachas rupee ka hai. What number is pachas? I am not telling you. Okay, okay, it's fifty. 
It costs 50 rupees. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Another very common way of asking how much is it is ye kitne ka hai. And if you want to be more specific and mention the thing you want to know the price of, all you need to do is insert the object after ye. Ye sale kitne ka hai, which means how much is this apple? At this point, can you count rupees in Hindi? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Hindi in 3 minutes lesson. Fir milenge. See you then. Namaste. HindiPod101.com mein swagat hai.